On the northern edge of Sherwood, Clumber Parks, nearly 4,000 acres of woodland, heath, grassland and lake, make it one of the most popular places in the East Midlands. Once the country seat of the Dukes of Newcastle, it is now owned by the National Trust, and its many delights are accessible to all. A lavish mansion, Clumber House, was built in 1770. However, rising costs and taxation caused the house to be abandoned in the 1930s. In 1938, it was demolished, and all that remains is the stable block and Duke's study, used today as a shop, information centre and restaurant. Fortunately, the chapel survives, a superb example of Victorian Gothic architecture of almost cathedral-like proportions, built by the seventh Duke between 1886 and 1889. It stands in an idyllic position by the lake. Good morning. It's Saturday the 30th of April 2022, the last day of the month, and this is only the second time I've ever been to Clumber Park. Beautiful spot in Sherwood Forest. I came here, I think it would have been about six years ago. It was when I first joined the National Trust, um, when I first became a member. Uh, the Clumber Park, I think, was one of the very first places I visited, so it wasn't too far away to go. So yeah. Looking forward to spending more time exploring it again today. I walked past the shop to take a quick look inside the Discovery Centre, in which families and school groups can discover the rich and varied wildlife of Clumber Park and learn about the conservation work of the National Trust. Very nice, very pleasant. I would imagine that this is probably the most visited part of Sherwood Forest. I could be wrong, but anyway, I'm going to start my walk now. we go then. Off walking around Clumber Park. So I did this walk the last time I came to Clumber Park some years ago and it's just it's not even three and a half miles long. It's a real stroll today. No hills. Mainly going to be walking beside the water on the opposite bank. Um, but yeah when I plotted the route it sort of calculates it as taking just over an hour. I mean, obviously it'll take me longer because I'll be stopping to take lots of shots and stuff, but, uh, but yeah, should be a nice easy day today. <laughs> mm -hmm. I follow the sandy path beside the lake, enjoying the sights of the various trees in the park, in which there are over 120 different types before turning left along a path at an information board.
bridge was closed a few years ago for a while. I think it was vandalised. It's uh, nice to see it open again and restored. Okay, so these are the restored bits. Looking good. On the night of the 3rd of March 2018, the stunning stone bridge that spans the lake was destroyed after vandals ploughed a car into its ornamental pillars, smashing the monument to bits. Thankfully, after over two years of careful planning and loving restoration, the iconic Grey II listed ornamental bridge is now finally restored. What a lovely little bridge. Well, not so little really, is it? <laughs> nice to see it restored anyway. Okay, for a little while now, I'm gonna be walking beside the lake. Beyond the bridge and weir, I remained on the main track beside the lake. Ah, that's very nice. That must be the best view of the church I've had so far today. Right then, what shall I talk about today? <laughs> Do you know what? Just over a month ago, on one of my earlier walks this year, I did say that I had a lot to talk about this year, and I can't think of anything to say today. <laughs> uh, it's all good fun, isn't it? Well, what I will say, though, is uh, going back to when I mentioned about my first visit to Clumber Park a few years ago, I'd just become a member of the National Trust and I also joined English Heritage around the same time and it's brilliant I mean I'm not sure how much it costs to if you're a non-member to come here I think I saw on the sign it was about 550 um, so I'm guessing that's like a standard fee in most National Trust places but, but that's what I pay every month as a member so I pay less than six pounds for the National Trust, about the same for English Heritage. So what's that a year? Less than 70 quid each? That's not bad. And even if I only come sort of like to a National Trust or an English Heritage place, you know, three or four times a year, that's more than my membership paid for. Um, bearing in mind what I would pay if I had to pay a one-off fee as a non-member. So it's worth it really, it's really worth joining. I soon reached the Greek temple, standing proud on the south side of the lake, tucked away in the pleasure grounds. Designed by the Dukes of Newcastle to impress their guests, it provides a sense of antiquity. Its position was carefully chosen to be seen from the terrace of the house. I walked through woodland as I continued along the lakeside path. As I was taking a shot just now, um, this dog ran up to me. <laughs> well,
Well, he just sort of ran around where I had the tripod. I get that a lot, actually. You know, whenever I'm sort of taking a shot and, you know, with the camera on the tripod, dogs run up to me all the time, it's funny. But uh, this time, this sort of dog ran around where I was, and then I heard a woman nearby, presumably its owner, and I heard her sort of say, come on, come on, cameraman don't need you by him, she said. And then I heard her say, oh, I bet he's got some stunning photos today. <laughs> well, I hope I do. Well, I hope I've got a stunning video. I think a lot of people don't really sort of realise that this is actually a camcorder. Because uh, when people see me out and about, you know, they see the camera and the tripod. I don't think they realise that it's a, a camcorder. So I often get asked, they sort of say, people say to me, uh, oh, have you found anything nice? And I think probably a lot of people perhaps think I'm taking pictures of wildlife or birds or whatever. Um, and I will do if, if I see any that's interesting, you know. Um, but of course I usually just say to them, oh, I'm just making a film of a walk, you know, so uh, they're quite surprised when I tell them that. <laughs> but yeah, it is interesting who you meet on the walk. Of course, there's a lot of people here in Clumber Park today. It's a beautiful Saturday, beautiful weather-wise, and uh, of course it's a bank holiday weekend again, so uh, yeah. Not surprised it's busy today. Ah, so I'm coming to the northeastern end of the lake now. Yeah, I'll be sort of going round it and more or less on the opposite bank a bit later. But yeah. Just going back to what I said earlier, where I was saying, what should I talk about today? Some people have actually left comments on my YouTube channel, and they say that they enjoy the little tidbits of my life that I give when I do my walks. I mean, that's what my videos are all about. I always say that, you know, my, even though I sort of provide a lot of information in my walks, in my films, you know, um, they are not actually meant to be guides. They're more my personal journey in the walk. So. If there's anything that you'd like me to talk about in a future film, just drop them in the comments below. As the path began to curve around the end of the lake, I crossed a footbridge over a weir. A short distance beyond here, I turned right off the main path to veer away from the lake. Right, lunchtime now, it's gone one o'clock. Good spot to stop. This is Hardwick Village. Hardwick Village is a rural settlement within Clumber Park consisting of former labourers' cottages and a couple of farms. The village is now under a covenant of the National Trust, and the village properties under tenancy, rather than tied cottages provided as homes for employees, as previously under the Dukes of Newcastle. Today, commuters can be found living in the cottages, rather than estate and farm labourers, though the principal farm, Hardwick Grange, continues to work the land. Retracing my steps to the lakeside path, I came to the wonderful refreshment van called Lake Brew, clearly a popular stop for visitors walking around the lake. This is where I walk round the far end of the lake. I'm going to start 
making my way on the opposite bank now, heading back towards where I started the walk. Ah, what an absolutely glorious day it's turning out to be. This beautiful four-acre walled kitchen garden was built in 1772 and has been awarded national collection status for its collection of culinary rhubarbs and apple trees and is alive with life right through the summer months. Oh, so a quick look around the wall gardens, very pleasant. I just see the flowers coming out. Oh, nearly at the end of the walk now. Passing the chapel again, I decided to go inside to take a look. Well, that's another lovely walk, very pleasant stroll around Clumber Park. Time to go home now. Although, before I go, I've got a shout out to give. So today's shout out goes to Louisa and Lauren, or should I say, Lou and Lol. Now, Lou and Lol, they're a marriage couple based in Nottingham. They've got their own YouTube channel, which is called Lou and Lol's Travels. And it's a great channel, so please do check it out. I'll put the link in the description below. Now, I first came across Lou and Lol's Travels probably just over a year ago, and I've been following them ever since. Um, they've done quite a few films in Derbyshire, because they love walking there. Uh, and they've also done a few here in Nottinghamshire, as well as Clumber Park. So I thought that's why I give them a shout out whilst I was here myself. But uh, yeah, I've been following their channel now for the past year or so. I think I've probably watched all their films now. But they're a great couple. I've actually had the pleasure of meeting them now. Um, Lou and Lol have also got a walking group and I've actually been on some of their walks now. And I've also got another one which I'll be joining them tomorrow. And uh, yeah, it's, it's great because uh, when I first met them, I just felt that I'd known them a lot longer because of course I've been watching their films on YouTube. So it was quite sort of a weird feeling seeing them in real life really, but yeah, it's lovely. And uh, in their walking group, other YouTubers join as well. And I've met a few of those too, but I'll give them shout outs separately. I won't give them all shout outs now. Um, but uh, yeah, I've met lots of other people as well. Not necessarily people who are YouTubers, but there's lots of people that have been on Lou and Lowell's walks and I'll should be on another one with them tomorrow. So I'm looking forward to that, but yeah, they're a lovely couple, and for me, it gives me a, a lot of pleasure to actually say that I'm proud to call them friends. So yeah, that means a lot to me, as well as some of the other YouTubers that are involved in their walking group too. So yeah, so Lou and Lol's Travels, do check them out. Lovely couple, great films, and come along on one of their group walks. <laughs> 